Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the process of doing a polar graph, a radar graph is what they're called, in Microsoft Excel. This is an optional step of the CAM design process, um, but still kind of nice to know. Um, again, what we're doing is we've already drawn this, you know, you could draw this by hand. I'll show you what it looks like, you know. Um, if I go and I create a polar graph, what I'm doing here is I'm saying, okay, zero degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees. As I rotate and I go around this angle, then the question is, how far away am I from the center? I did have to distort my graph a little bit to fit this on the graph paper. So um, I start in a little bit closer. This is supposed to be 1.25 inches away. But then from this, every single one of these little increments here represents an eighth of an inch. So I can see here, if I were to count from here out by eighth inches, that I would get to 2.375 inches here. Those data points are the ones that I've collected that I have on my table here for CAM design. So that's how this all relates. Um, you can see this is what it'll look like in Microsoft Excel. I'm actually, I'll be honest, Google Sheets does a little bit better job of this because it rounds out the data points for you, whereas we get this polygon looking thing here. So um, please understand that um, you know it would take some finessing. There are additional steps that's just above and beyond what a quick video can do to show you how to um, how to round those things out. And honestly, I don't think it's worth it after playing around with it myself. So it'll still get us a decent idea. We can still see an eccentric cam starting to show up here. We can still see like an elliptical cam starting to show up here. And that's the idea. So how do we do this? I'm going to start by highlighting my data. And just go to a new sheet and I'm just going to paste it in. I don't like how that looks. So let me go here and double click between A and B, resize my columns. All right, now I'm ready to work. Here we go. So last time, whenever we created motion graphs, we highlighted all the data at once like this, and we just hit insert scatter plot. A little bit more difficult this time in that one, we're only going to do one cam at a time. So I'm only going to do the blue cam, the left cam. And two, you'll notice that I only highlight down through the 350 degree mark. That's because whenever I do this polar graph, this radar graph, Excel doesn't understand that zero degrees and 360 are really the same thing. And we don't want it to plot the same point twice in a different location. So we're not going to highlight the 360. When I have that, I'm going to go up to insert. And unfortunately, it's not one of the charts that we see. Well, actually, it is now because I've used it so often. But for most of you, you're going to have to come over here and click this little drop down arrow here to see all charts. I'm going to go to all charts and I'm going to scroll down until I see radar. There's a couple of different options for me. I actually kind of like this one here because it fills it in for you as well. And then I'm just going to highlight this one here. This is the one I want. I'm going to double click on it. The other one had the X and the Y reversed. So I would know right away if I had that correct because instead of seeing 0, 45, 90, 135, so on and so forth around the outside, those would have been the markings here on this axis. That's what the other graph was going to do. So there you go. I mean, that's really simple. If you want to do anything else with it, oh, you want to make it fancy, there you go. You know, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can double click on it and change some options. Um, you know, it, it's all just customization at that point in time. So that's a left cam vertical displacement. We're going to do the same thing for the right cam in just a second. All you have to do, highlight the first column. And the trick here is to hold down control and highlight the second column here, the orange one. Same thing. I'm going to go to insert, choose the drop down, all charts, radar, the one that's filled. And then this is supposed to be an ellipse, so you can see it doesn't look great. Man, that's pretty darn simple. So I can see that the, the shape starting to appear it really should be rounded. This should be a little less severe. You're going to see like an oval shape come up if you do it by hand. So um, be careful of this. Again, this is just one option. It's an optional thing that you can do to just show your kids how to use Excel to do the same thing. If I'm going to do this in my class, I'm probably using Google Sheets. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.